nearly every financial institution will be either made obsolete or get engaged with blockchain because it's just sink or swim. In Zug now and in uh, Munich, you'll actually see a lot of investors from the US coming to, to Germany and coming to Liechtenstein and, and Switzerland in order to find new firms to invest in. The Frankfurt School is doing really great uh, conferences and events for blockchain. I mean, this has been fantastic, all the events that I've come to here through the Blockchain Center. And I mean, coming from the University of Liechtenstein, actually, you're kind of like the, what we look up to, right? I mean, this is, we, we, we hope that our events can attract as much attention as yours do. And we often look at who's speaking at your events in order for us to figure out who are the top speakers in this space. I believe Bitcoin has come to be the reserve asset of the global financial system and it will disintermediate central banking. And just in spending two days here, I met a, a lot of very, very intelligent people. It seems like the work that the Blockchain Center here is doing is perhaps uh, uh, more advanced than any other uh, institution of higher learning around the world. Blockchain feels still a little bit like the internet in 1994, 95 probably. Um, but it's very interesting what's happening and uh, with what speed. So I wasn't expecting any STO being approved by the BaFin in 2019. I truly believe that the entire industry will be reshaped. What I really like about this conference is that the level of sophistication of the participants is quite high. So there are not um, many that haven't heard about blockchain before. Um, it's a crowd where you get asked detailed questions, which tells you something about they've invested before, um, they've actually been active in this space, so it helps to really drive the, the cutting edge topics. It's not, I explain blockchain to the world, but you can actually you know, talk to innovative startups and that's something that I really like.